New World's play numbers are not looking great right now, and I sort of feel like they're going to get worse. Maybe way worse. But I also don't think it's the end of the world. It's not necessarily the end of New World. So let's jump in, look at the play numbers, and then we'll talk about why I don't think this is that bad. Well, it's bad, but not that bad. If you're playing New World right now or following the game at all, you're probably feeling a lot of discontent because of the lack of content and the play numbers are really starting to reflect that now of course on the surface right if we look at this we can see well i'll zoom out a little bit but we can see the classic thing happens that always happens when you get major content you get the major content and then the players leave what's sort of the most interesting bit here is probably this dip that started in january now there's going to be a lot of factors there. some of you are going to be like oh it was pal world it's entroded it's xyz the reality is it's probably the fact that we announced that we weren't getting any really major content until beyond may because if you actually look it sort of started just before power world on the surface you might look at this and think well the january numbers weren't that bad i mean not amazing this is an average by the way and you might think well 16,000 on average that's sort of about the same as last year's April, sort of about the same as last year's May. Yeah, it's a little bit early to be hitting 16,000. Maybe we would have wanted that to be around about March, but you know, not diabolical. And you might look at the last 30 days and be like, oh, that's still 14,000. That's not that bad. Well, we're only 10 days into February, really. So this number still sort of includes some of that January period where it was relatively high i think once we get into the rolling 30 days or all of february then we're going to see a significantly lower number for a while when we were looking at the peaks we were actually losing about 2,000 people at peak and at the bottom so this isn't a good example but if we have a look at friday the second we can see that the peak was 15,000, like 300 ish and if we have a look at last night, you'll see that it was 14,300 ish. So the peak has gone down by a thousand in a week. It is sort of slowing. Basically, the decline is slowing a little bit because we're getting to the point where it's only really the hardcore players, the really, you know, determined people who are sticking around. And that is also fine. But let's have a look at last Sunday's peak, the fourth. The peak that we had there was 17 and a half thousand people at peak time on a Sunday. If that peak was to hold for the whole of the month, like we never went beyond that, it would actually be lower than the peak we had in the lowest month. Now, we're not all the way through February yet, and we do have the season five PTR probably going to be revealed and announced. So maybe we'll get a higher peak on some random Sunday. But I would not be surprised if February and maybe March, depending on what actually is in season five, if we do see numbers that are, you know, this bad and this low. But as bad as that is, I don't think it's the end of New World. Now, I also want to clear up a little bit of a misconception. A lot of people are saying we're not getting any content until May. And that's probably mostly true. But the key thing that we are going to get in the PTR for Season 5, which by the way, Season 5 is coming in March, the key thing we're getting is the seasonal trial. This seasonal trial is a 10-man seasonal trial, and it's going to have good weekly rewards. I think they said there would be like, you know, daily rewards, but there's going to be good weekly rewards at maybe like two or three times a week. Now, I agree that the rest of this list, not really content in the way that you guys are hoping and expecting. The group finder, now we've already had, which is, by the way, why they mentioned February, because the group finder was always planned to come in February. Well, not always, but when they put out this roadmap, it was. There's going to be artifacts. They are eventually going to update the MSQ. I think they'll save, if they're going to do fresh, I think they'll save it for console or something like that. The seasonal events are just the events we already know, the spring and the rabbit one. Bug fixes, season pass, control support. Again, not really content. But let's just be clear and a little bit fur. There is a little bit of content. It's a 10-man. It's coming in March probably playable this week on the PTR. Now, will it do all that much? Probably not. And by the way, May, I think, is not when the content is coming. I know what Scott said. I still think May is going to be the announcement. If we were to go along with the seasonal thing, then June is actually when content would arrive. That'll be season six, if they're sticking with seasons, which I spoke about in another video. I still maintain, by the way, that this major announcement is going to be console and an expansion. Console in June or beyond, expansion in september okay that's the prediction i have no idea and it's really sort of becoming apparent now that new world is effectively becoming a three month game and what i mean by that is 
they've not really given us that much content from the expansion to the next expansion if I'm right about that expansion. And the reason I think it is going to be an expansion is Scott Lane said, and I have the link to prove this, but I'm not going to bother putting it in the description or anything, but Scott Lane said that ideally they want to do big content annually, and they said that after Brimstone. And I'm pretty confident if we get a Brimstone-like patch or an Elysium Wild style of expansion, then it's going to be paid for. So I think there'll be a paid expansion at the end of this year. And that's sort of the problem now. The roadmap that they're announcing right here is going to have to be very, very good because people are going to feel like that they've had a little bit of broken promises. We've all seen the season four roadmap that should have, you know, arrived. Seasonal trinket, this 10 man trial, for example, should have been there. Cross server should have been there. There's quite a few things that should have been in season four that got pushed out into season five and beyond. So even if they produced the roadmap, a lot of people's questions and answers are going to be like, can I even trust them? Does it even make sense? Now, I don't think that will be that important in the long run, because if the expansion is truly good and there's a lot of stuff in there that you want, I'm seeing rumors on Reddit. I'm, I'm aware of the rumor on Reddit where it's like, there's going to be a PVP island. No idea how true that is. I've I mean, it might just be wishlisting, I've no idea. But if the expansion is actually good with the content for the players that actually want to play that content, then the people will come back. And with all of the boon of the console release, if that happens, then I think we're heading for a really good end of 2024. The problem is, uh, there are going to be a lot of people who think there's been too many broken promises. And for that, I don't actually know. I think like Gold used to say about world boycotters that they were like one cinematic away from returning. And I sort of feel like for a lot of people, People, New World is one or two features from getting a lot of people back who said they weren't coming back. Especially when you consider what other games are even coming out this year. You've got Throne and Liberty, which, you know, has been postponed indefinitely at the minute because they're doing a lot of work to fix it in Korea. PAX Day is a sort of crafting, I'll call it a survival game, it's not really a survival game, which may ultimately end up having pay to win, but that's going to go into early access this year. Ashes of Creation 2 is interesting for a lot of people. By the way, I've made an Ashes of Creation channel, which is going to be sort of similar to this, but for Ashes of Creation, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in that. But again, Ashes of Creation is one of those games where only a select few of us who've, you know, stupidly paid out that like $250 or above will be playing that. So that's not going to be for everybody. And then what else is there? Nothing really at the minute. We can all cope on something like Chrono Odyssey, Arcade 2, whatever, right? The fact is, we don't know when they're happening. So if New World can actually come out with an expansion that's really good before these games even, you know, get a proper setting and footing in the market, then there's no reason why it won't have a reasonably successful time. You see these three peaks, the launch, Brimstone, the expansion. I'm expecting another little bump. Now you can see that the bumps are getting smaller, but I would say it's very likely at the end of this year, we're going to get another bump. And of course, I think it's coming to console, which will give it another type of bump. You just won't be able to see how many people are in that bump. Hopefully I'll feel it on Twitch though. Give me that money. Give me those console views. I'll take it. Thank you, Jeff. So the play numbers aren't great right now. There's no way to sugarcoat it. And I think it's going to get worse. And I think we might hit the lowest play numbers yet again. Maybe in February, maybe to some other month that I don't know when. But I also think that the end of the year is going to be interesting. The main question is, are people going to believe and trust that Amazon games are going to deliver what they say in that roadmap? Once bitten, twice shy. That for me is one of the only times where it sort of feels like we were a little bit misled. Now I know that obviously a roadmap is subject to change. The problem isn't the fact that the roadmap changed. The problem is, is that they didn't replace the content with anything. That was the main issue. I don't mind a plan being, you know, altered. I mind the plan being altered and nothing being in its stead. So New World, I would say, is dying, but it's not dead yet and it won't be dead until we see the outcome of the next expansion. And even then, really, I don't think it'll die, die. I don't think they'll close the servers anytime soon. You know, this is going to be a very fascinating year. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, they're just not going to bother with the game for the first half of the year. And that's bad for me because I stream on Twitch and stuff. Meh. It is what it is. Big shout out to my Patreons. Thank you very much. Come follow me over on Twitch. Have a most beautiful day. Goodbye.